Hello everyone, today I'm going to be ranking all nine 2021 musical movies ranked. Before I get started, today is going to be a very, very stacked day with heaps of rankings. So I'm just going to tell you the rankings on what I have. I have uh, all nine 2021 musical movies ranked, uh, top 10 2021 actresses ranked, so like movie actresses, uh, top 10 2021 actors ranked, Top 10 2021 Directors Ranked uh, Top 10 2021 uh, Movie Characters Ranked Top uh, 2021 Bad Movies Ranked Top 2021 Good Movies Ranked And then uh, my honorable mentions for the good which will be released sometime before my Top 10 Good So further ado, um, there will be more but I can't really think of them at the moment but there's going to be heaps, and I might slip a little review in there, uh, but yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. My number nine has to be music. Music was just a very boring film that I didn't really have fun with. It's yeah, it's not good. Um, I do not recommend this film if you have if you haven't seen it. I mean, Maddie Zeigel is a decent enough actress. Um, but Sia, who directed this movie, I don't think she is that great as, at a director. Uh, but music is a very bad movie, and I didn't enjoy it. It was not fun. The music was okay, but it's not one of the best movies I've seen. Uh, but yeah, don't recommend this movie. Um, yeah. My number... Eight is Cinderella. Uh, so Cinderella, uh, well, if you want to know who Cinderella is, is Camila Cabello, um, Cabello, whatever you like to call her. Um, yeah, this is not a good movie. They literally don't even create their, their own songs in this movie. All they are is just songs from, like, like mod, well, not modern songs, but like, Songs from, like, you know, not from Cinderella. Cinderella was very disappointing. Well, not a disappointing. I reckon it was going to be bad. Um, I know it didn't make it my top two disappointing, but Cinderella, underwhelming. Didn't really like watching it. Yeah, just not for me, uh, unfortunately. I think Cinderella could have been way much better, but unfortunately, it did not happen. My number... Seven. Uh, I don't know if people have heard of this. I went on Prime Video. Uh, everybody's talking about Jamie. Now this movie, I think, is not... It's okay. It's an okay movie. It's a movie um, that I can watch, but I don't think I can watch, like, heaps of times. Like, I could only probably watch it, like, two or three times. This film was very underwhelming as well as uh, Cinderella, but this movie, I think it's an okay film, or oh, near okay, um, yeah, I do not recommend this film if you have not seen it, but everybody's talking about Jamie is very disappointing, did not make my top 10 disappointing though, uh, but was very close, uh, but everybody's talking about Jamie was, yeah, just a very underwhelming film that I just couldn't uh, really watch. My number six is Annette. Annette, I think it's called. Um, yes, this is a musical. This film, probably one of the weirdest films I've watched this year. Uh, it's directed by Leos Carax and starring Adam Driver and Marion Cotlard, I think. No, I'm sorry with pronunciations. Annette was a very, uh, it's, it's good, it's good, um, it's a good movie, um, I mean, I wasn't really expecting much from this film, I was really hoping that Adam Driver was going to do really well, which he did, I think Adam Driver did a fantastic job in this movie, but it's not his best performance, uh, in 2021 film, uh, for me, it's from the last still, but Annette is still an enjoyable film, I can watch it, uh, but yeah, it's a good film. My number five has to go to 
Vivo. Vivo is a good movie. Um, you got Lynn Manuel Miranda as the monkey, Vivo. Uh, you got in the whole other casts. I'm really on Netflix. 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 Uh, I do have fun with this film. It's a good movie. I don't think it's very high up on my list, but it's a very good movie. I do enjoy it. I think it's fine uh, and enjoyable that I can watch. Uh, but Vivo was enjoyable. I think it's good. Do I think people should watch it? Yeah, I think people should definitely check it out. Have a good uh, chance with Vivo. I know it's probably not for everyone, but I think it's a good movie. I had a blast with it. It's probably one of not the best animation movies I've seen this year. Well, it was in my top 10, but yeah, it was kind of... It was in the top 10, I can't remember, but... It's not the best animation movie I've seen this year. Um, but Vivo, it's still an enjoyable film that, yeah, I had a blast with. My number four is Encanto. Encanto was a great movie. I really, really liked Encanto. I was really surprised by this film. It wasn't... I don't know if it was in my top 10, surprising though. But Encanto was a really fun, enjoyable film that I had a blast with. Uh, I really digged Encanto. I think it was a blast. I love the cast in this film. The musical is fantastic. The animation is beautiful. Um, the story to this film, beautiful. Everything about this film is just beautiful, and I just really enjoy what I saw out of this movie, and I think everyone does a fantastic job uh, with the voice cast. And I just had a blast with uh, this film. And yeah, I th yeah, it's, it's a really entertaining film that I watched not long ago. Like, I think it was December 27th. But yeah, Encanto, I really had a blast with, and I think people should definitely check Encanto out. But with my bronze medal, I know people are going to hate me for this. My number three is Dear Evan Hansen. I really had a blast with Dear Evan Hansen, surprisingly. Even though everyone says it's one of the worst movies. Uh, yeah. Well, not one of the worst, but like, one of the worst musicals. Dear Evan Hansen, for me, I really had a blast with. I think it's a great movie. Um... I really digged the performances in this film. I think the performances did a fantastic job. The music was really good. I It's probably one of my favourite soundtracks of the year. Uh, well, behind um, the Suicide Squad soundtracks. But Dear Evan Hansen, I really love the music in this movie. The story is a very heartfelt, emotional story, which, um, yeah, I think it did very well in this film. And yeah, I really dig. Uh, Dear Evan Hansen. I think people should definitely check it out, even though people say, eh, it's not that good, it's bad. I think people should definitely check it out, have their own chance to uh, watch it and have, yeah, just have a blast. And number two, let's go to Tick Tick Boom. Tick Tick Boom was really, really great. Uh, yeah, I love Tick Tick Boom. Um, Andrew Garfield does a fantastic performance in this film. Uh, I Loved what I saw out of Tick, Tick, Boom. I think this is one of my favourite movies. Or like my top 30 favourite movies of the year. I just had a blast with it. And yeah, if you haven't seen Tick, Tick, Boom, definitely check it out. Lin-Manuel Lin Miranda did a fantastic job uh, by directing this film. I think he does fantastic. And yeah, I had a blast. I think Jonathan Larson... His uh, music was fantastic, and uh, Jonathan Larson was the person who uh, Andrew Garfield was portraying. I think Andrew Garfield does a great job, uh, a fantastic job portraying Jonathan Larson, and yeah, I think uh, Andrew Garfield is a fantastic voice, and yeah, I love Tick Tick Boom. But the one with the gold medal has to go to In the Heights. In the Heights, it's a fantastic film, it's an awesome film. Uh, I love this film. Uh, I was going to say spoilers for my uh, lists coming up, but In the Heights, I love. It is a fantastic film. If you have not seen In the Heights, definitely check this movie out. It is a fantastic film. Um, I love the music in this film. This is actually yeah, my top 10 favourite soundtracks of the year. Uh, in the Heights, love this music. Uh, the director, I forgot who directed it, does fantastic. I think it was Lynn Manuel Miranda. Sorry, John M. Chu, I think was his name is called. I think he does fantastic work in this movie. Uh, Lin Manuel Miranda is in this movie. Um, I think he actually created. I, I, I don't know. But In the Heights, it's a great movie. Definitely check it out. 
that is it. Hope you enjoyed me ranking all nine musical movies I saw in 2021. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. It'll be a big help. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.